Hello, this is Svetlana Shapitsina and today we will keep working with managing inline styles on React component. In the previous tutorial we created a button and added simple styles, background color and text color. Uh, but unfortunately these styles are static and in order to have possibility to change, for example, button color dynamically, we can use a special set of tools, it's called Radium. Here it is. And in order to uh, use it, we need first install, we run npm install radium, and then uh, you will find it in your node modules, uh, here it is. In order to use it, we need to import, first of all, to our button, and it's not all that we need to do for using, we need also to decorate, and it's really important so that this decoration uh, will be right before creating your class. So in this case it will be here, like this. So we imported, we decorated our class and now we are ready to use it. With Radium we get uh, a lot of uh, useful features for our inline class uh, in React and I will show on practice how we can use it. First of all, we have possibility with Radium to apply not just one style, but array of styles. How it will look like. In order not to remove our created styles, I will wrap inside object styles. In future, when you are going to use uh, styles with Radium, you type stcreate, stc, and you will get it immediately. But now I need to remove variable and substitute equal with color. And here I mention styles and come to browser, reload. I forgot to import the article form and of course it wouldn't work. I will just copy. more. Everything fine. So we have this difference, we have object of styles and now we are free to add uh, as many as we need and use them. But for example I want to rename this button to danger since it is already red and I would like to create additional colors. Styles Array STA Alt E Success STP Background Alt E Green And in order not to add again color white, I create base and it will be color white for any button. And then I apply. In order to apply, I need to use first of all array syntaxes, square braces. And here first will be base, then comma. I again mention styles. But in order to use this array feature, changing color dynamically, I tell this tpr kind for example so I have property kind that I will use every time when I add additional button it is similar to creating a universal directive on angular uh, when we have possibility to create property on scope and then change it on any element usage kind uh, success. And now our button will not be red, but green. And we can easily come back to red one with danger. We will have two buttons now. You see it's easier and in the same way we can create additional type of properties for button 
and it can be a size. You can name it like you wish. You can create any properties and with radium functionality they will be recognized inside styles object and applied. And for, the, for sizes B, T, N size I have all styles created. I just use it and I tell that it will be and first Here we are. And next step we will create browser state functionality for our buttons. For our styles we can apply different for danger. Hover radium and background uh, red. Um, in order to make it more convenient we can use also special tool and it is called tiny color. I cannot use this shortcut here. And if you come from this link, I just want to show to its project, you will see all features that you uh, have possibility to use with tiny colors. All palette that is created automatically for you. It has a lot of methods and uh, in our application I will show example just with one. It's lighten. And in order to use it you have first of all install. You will find all information here. I install with npm tiny color 2 and you can find it here on node modules. It has a lot of libraries. Here they are, node modules. In order to use it, you need just to import it. That's it. And for background, for hover, I have ready snippet. So what we have, we apply, uh, we use tiny color, we add color red, uh, we run function lightning, we give parameter and apply uh, use method uh, from tiny colors to hack string and all information about different kind different methods uh, you will find here on github tiny color and let's see the result reload it works and it's one of ways and uh, working with colors and uh, if you uh, get used to your approach for example I get used to applying Google colors Google palette so uh, I try to keep it in my project since it's very convenient to use all these uh, numbers on styles for me how it works. On my project I created a folder settings and it has different files. I created different files for different type of styles. It has typography for example and I will show all this feature in future on tutorials but now about colors, just colors. In order to create my own palette that I use on application, I created class color constructor and inside is actually my palette. It's, for example, gray color, blue, red, uh, green, orange, just main colors. But uh, it's easy to add uh, a new one. I just show for purple, for example. If you want more colors, you just copy it from Google like this. Once more. Here it is. So it's not time consuming. You name it Ctrl Shift slash purple. Insert. 
then we shortcut. I don't need this line. I line it like this and then Ctrl Shift Alt and J. I move down. It will be equal this. Here. Wrapping like this. And now I just need to add names. Ctrl Alt Shift J. This purple. So I have one more palette and I can use it uh, right now on button hover for success. And I just tell uh, that it's my colors. Then you can see that I have intelligence. I shouldn't forget comma. Let's check if it works on browser. And we have a mistake. And I know what this mistake is. We didn't import colors. I tell styles this. Let's check if it works. Now it works. And when I hover, I have immediately purple color. And it's weird color in this case. I just wanted to show its functionality. But uh, now I can apply something better. Uh, it can be green. 100 and for main color colors green 500 and it will be lightning it's too small difference green Seven. And now you can see. And it can be vice versa if you wish. So it's your choice uh, uh, which style to use. You can use tiny color. You can use uh, any other library that you can find uh, for React. And I prefer to uh, store my uh, my uh, color palette in my settings and then in the end of uh, development when my application is ready I can easily remove all unnecessary colors. So it's not like with uh, in mo most of cases with CSS styles when you uh, when you usually keep a lot of dead code. So from here I can see which colors I use. I can in easy manage it. With Ctrl Alt U I can find where I use it. So it's very convenient. And the last feature that I want to show in this tutorial is not the last feature of Radium, but the last feature for today it's Media Queries. And uh, for now if we open on browser our application and scale it to small, this button appears the same. And I want it to change dynamically uh, to be responsive. So for default button I apply media query. Media for small device. 
and uh, I tell that STP style property with 100% for all buttons. Don't forget to add comma. And we shrink it to small. I definitely made a mistake. Oh, I am in my another directive, so I will just erase it from here and it's my another button. I will show how it looks like, but let's implement for base. Actually, how did I come here? I came from gray usage to my button fab. Close it for now, and uh, on button base for small device, I want my all buttons appear the same like this. So you can see that it's easy to implement uh, different dynamic styles with using uh, radium features set of tools also i would like to show an example of buttons that i have created with this approach here they are it's uh, that button that i came from my styles and if i come to colors to gray ctrl alt u button fab you will find on GitHub, uh, on my repository, all this functionality with different sizes, but uh, this button fab directive has a property uh, for button with round shape. And in next tutorial, we will keep uh, working with inline styles. I will show how to create different styles for your component that are modified by your property or state. That's it for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.